Okay, wait a minute guys. There's actually something that I forgot to tell you. There is a link down below in the description box that I will be putting and that's my reference for this video. Of course, to avoid plagiarism, once again, uh, I will put it down there so that if you want to read everything, you know, the full details about this painting, just click the link down below. Because, of course, I cannot put everything here or else it's gonna be just like copying the whole thing, right? So, that being said, guys, let us now proceed to the intro of this video. Hey, Auto Party! What's good? What's up, guys? We are supposedly the SJ Bros. But uh, I'm alone again because this one is for my school. Again, it's for art appreciation. Okay, so with that being said, guys, let's go. Okay, so today uh, I will be discussing the semiotic and contextual planes of a historical painting called The Death of General Wolf, made by Benjamin West. Okay, so last time I talked about the Starry Night and its iconic plane. Now we will know what a semiotic plane and contextual plane is. A short introduction first. This painting is a neoclassical art. Neoclassical art started during the 1760s and lasted until 1840s and 50s. Wait, uh, I will be reading the script again because yeah, I have to do this and it guides me so that I won't go off topic. Okay, and uh, I made the script. So first, I will discuss what semiotic plane is as well as the contextual plane of art. Okay, so semiotic plane is like the uh, ID of a painting and it has the facts about the painting, just like an ID. Semiotic plane shows the following details. So first, it will tell us about the name of the artist, the title of the work, year the work was created, dimension or size, and the medium or technique and lastly the collection or the gallery where this artwork is located okay so next is contextual contextual plane sorry that's hard that's hard for me to say basically it's about you know context because it's in the name itself it focuses on the meaning of the artwork so with that being said this means that we as the audience must search about the painting in order for us to know the symbols and references in the painting because uh, this is like the more technical type of plane the art okay so most contextual paintings are about the ideas and values during that time during the time that the painting was was made so this plane will also help us understand historical events even better so it's an artistic way of studying history now that you know what semiotic and contextual planes are okay let's proceed with our main topic so let's start with the semiotic plane of the painting the death of general wolf okay so the name of the artist is benjamin west and of course the title of the artwork is the death of general wolf and the year it was created was way back in 1770 and the dimension is 152.6 by 214.5 centimeters and this can be found in the national national gallery of canada i don't know why i keep messing up the words sorry guys now for the second part we will talk about the context of this painting so the event in the painting occurred only seven years before, uh, before the painting was made. Okay, so this means Benjamin West did not follow the normal way because most paintings were from the Bible passages and classical past. So meaning uh, most historical paintings are actually the events happened way before the uh, present time during the art was being created so with this case it only happened seven years before the time that he made this so it's actually unconventional the certain event in the painting was from the seven years war 
This war is also called the French and Indian War in North America. The event in the painting was the time that the French were gaining power and so the British Empire had to do something and expand their colonies by taking the colonies of France. Okay guys, uh, I'm not really familiar with the Seven Years War. Well, mainly because I'm Asian and I'm not a North American. <laughs> and uh, But I know that you know the European countries, they wanted to expand their, their uh, empire back then. So they were competing with each other to you know conquer most of the lands that are not in Europe so with that let's move on okay according to the article that I read General Wolf is the subject of the painting I mean it's in the title okay also West made a biblical reference because he painted General Wolf in such a way that it resembles Christ being dead in lamentation paintings and basically, it suggests that General Wolf is like Christ in the sense that he has admirable qualities. Okay, so we know that Christ died for a great cause. He died for our salvation, okay? And for the British Empire, General Wolf died for a great cause as well. And he is actually a hero because he advanced the British power in North America. And West turned General Wolfe from an ordinary and simple war hero to a martyr for the British Empire. Okay, so in this context, uh, it's good. But generally, for me, it's not good because you're conquering another nation. Which is not... Of course, it's not good. But of course, they are British, so they think that he is a hero. And... Benjamin West even considered him as a martyr because of this painting. Additional information, West showed a tattooed Native American on the left side of the artwork and his pose is very familiar guys. It is the pose that the sculptor of August Rodin is in and that is the thinker and that is another reference. Uh, you know that guys, right? Did you see it? Did you notice? I mean, there. I didn't even think about that when I first saw it. Now, let's talk about the significance of this painting. According to the webpage that I read, it is actually a landmark painting in the history of North American art. West reinterprets what a history painting could be. This pertains to the period being shown and the attire the subjects of the painting were while also following a visual language that can be easily understood by the audience during the 18th century. And also this composition paved the way for many artists who made contemporary history during that time. So basically this like uh, it set the trend or the stage for other artists who made contemporary history during that time and specifically it's his students oh also uh, the setting of the painting is actually Quebec so this is in Canada that's where the seven years war happened okay so this painting right here is in Quebec with that guys uh, I hope you learned something about this painting and it's actually my first time to uh, see this painting while I was making this video. Okay, so I was looking for a painting during neoclassical period and this is the one that showed up. And I looked for the context of this and I got a little confused. Like to be honest guys, I, I really don't know what happened during the Seven Years War. So I had to do extra research about it. And at first, I thought it was the British versus the uh, Native Americans, guys. Because it's the French and Indian War in North America. I mean, I even thought it was the French versus... I also thought it was the French versus the Indian Americans. But it's actually the French versus the British. And contextual plane helped me 
to understand it more by doing my own research and guys to be honest even right now i'm still confused because i mean obviously i didn't study about the history of north america because uh, i'm asian but yeah i hope you still learn something about you know this painting and yeah thank you guys for watching i hope you like this video it i hope it helped you even just a little bit guys and uh with that being said guys please like comment share and subscribe so yeah sj bros signing out